Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are a current subscriber. I'm analyzing Julia Zelg's brand new video where she finally introduces her new boyfriend. So a few things though before we begin. This is not a new relationship and in fact I believe she has stated very briefly before she was in an open relationship while married to Eileen. So basically she's been dating both of these people all along. There's even proof on the Julia Zelg subreddit of Julia having dated this man for at least two years now while married to Eileen. I'm not judging how open their relationship was, though it is a bit deceptive that she has told people actively that she is strictly a lesbian, that she is in love with Eileen, that Eileen was the best thing ever and here she is and now she's going to tell us that she is now dating this guy, like this is new, and that she's switched to being bisexual and all of that is deceptive just by omission by leaving out information that she has known this man for two years at least now i will say that even on both of their instagram accounts they leave subtle hints now she's going to tell us that this is brand new and now this is really the guy that she is in love with these creators often know that someone's going to leave judgmental negative comments that's going to boost their engagement that's what they're after. They want shock factor. That's That just seems to be the new thing among a lot of creators. That's not going to be the point of this video. I am going to analyze their behaviors and their statements and let's get into this. I would like to introduce you to my wonderful boyfriend, Keith. Hello. <laughs> so today I am going to be asking him some of the questions you sent us on the previous video. I obviously know the answers to all of them, or well, I think, I'm sure I'll be surprised with a few things, but I'm sort of like interviewing him for your benefit, but I, I know the answers, I hope. We'll see. Well, What's your name? What's your full uh, name? I have several names. <laughs> The start of this, they're very comfortable with each other. And again, th because this isn't a new relationship, this isn't typically what someone in a new relationship would do. Now, Julia never states this is a brand new relationship, but she has led her viewers to believe this. And I've seen in the comments section, actually, people saying she's moving too fast, but this is not a brand new relationship. And that is why they are so comfortable at the beginning of this. Though Julia's laugh, that is a forced fake laugh, but they're very comfortable. They're side by side. He's gazing at her. They seem to be in love or at the very least infatuated with each other. TikTok for daily vlogs and give us a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. <laughs> is that what I sound like? <laughs> Channel. 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 So obviously the number one question people have been asking is what's your name? My name is Keith Wood. Beautiful name. Very simple. <laughs> I like it. So it's a nice surname. Nice first name too. But... A lot of history to it. Is there? Hmm, from the wood. It's from wood. Ancient times wood. <laughs> a majority of this, Julia basically stares him down. Now, I've said in one of the videos she has with Eileen that this was sort of manipulative to guide the conversation. The way she would position herself guided Eileen to then respond in defense. Now, had that been a more positive video, Eileen perhaps would not have re responded defensively. The way that Julia was positioning herself in her last video with Eileen, however, did manipulate how Eileen responded. Now, I don't think that that was done very consciously, but that is how that played out. Now, we're seeing a more positive video where Julia is basically doing the same thing, but because it's a positive video, it's not about divorce, it's not about a fight or an argument. Keith will respond, but he's facing the camera, and this is important because it comes off very awkward. It's almost as if we've arrived to this dinner party, and we have a girl and maybe one of her relatives. I I'm not saying father, though that's where everyone's minds go to with this kind of age gap, but maybe even an uncle. This is the atmosphere that these two are bringing, and it's as if viewers have stepped into this dinner party with these two who mostly know each other, they're comfortable enough, they're familiar with each other, but not everyday familiar. Keith is facing forward, he has one hand on Julia's lap, resting comfortably, she's facing him, but she is really playing up a part here for the camera. I don't personally believe this is how these two interact all the time. And Julia is forcing a laugh. This is very, it's not authentic. So where are you from? I'm originally from Yorkshire, north of England, but I've lived in London for about 
25 years now. A lot of people asked how we met. I bought a property in Kensington where Julia was living. I bought a property and... I also want you to note that when Julia smiles, it does not meet her eyes. Again, not authentic at all. She's really playing up a part here. I don't believe these two interact this way daily. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying anything negative about that. I just believe that this is an act, what we're seeing. Now, Julia wants viewers to believe that Keith is a wonderful, great man. We would not expect her to come on camera and say he's awful or list off all his flaws, but this does seem as if it's more of a sales pitch to viewers. She's selling Keith. Keith is her product and she is sitting almost as if she is puppeting him. Her head's behind his back as if he has a string she's pulling and she's facing towards him with what seems to be a smile but it doesn't reach her eyes. It's not authentic. None of this is genuine and it seems as if she's almost puppeting Keith. She's guiding him and it seems as if she's trying to convince viewers he's great. Mostly though it comes off as if she's trying to convince herself that this is actually a great man. Now she had told us that Eileen was great and wonderful and smart and brilliant and all of the same things that she is saying about Keith now. And um, for modernization, uh, my dad was a builder, so there has a certain amount of manual skills that I have as well. I bought this property and renovated it and converted it to grade two listed property, so a lot of attention to detail. And during that uh, place called South Kensington, there's a Pret pret a if you know that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I used to pop out there for tea, lunch, coffee, whatever. And one day I bumped into a beautiful young lady. <laughs> we just started chatting, funnily enough, about Chelsea Football Club. I so at one point, Julia's smile fades a bit. And this happens when he mentions properties. Now, in previous videos, Julia has mentioned she was not looking for any kind of, any kind of person, particularly with money, that this was about love, and she tried to convince her audience this is love, this is genuinely what she's attracted to, this age gap situation, and it's love, and that she was the one that would pay for everything, and she was financially independent, and she was confident in that. However, her smile conveniently fades when this man mentions property. And he's just telling us who he is. That is a bit of a sore point to Julia. It has been in the past where people would say she's looking for someone with money. And he's talking about property which says, I have money, which would guide people to believe that this is a situation where she's financially benefiting. And of course, in the comment section, that is what people were speculating. And of course, she responded negatively to this, but she leaves this in here and her smile does fade at that particular point. I have season tickets. I've always followed Chelsea Football Club. Uh, yeah, it's one of my passions. And we started talking about Chelsea. Julia also said she followed Chelsea as well. Yeah, I've been a Chelsea fan since I first moved to England about 10 years ago. No, 11 years ago. Because uh, of an ex, actually. <laughs> I won't tell you when I started supporting them. <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we started, uh, that started the conversation. We met a couple of times for coffee there. We then went to um, football matches. I've, I've, I'll say I have season tickets there, so I went to some football matches and became good friends and things moved on. I don't think that this is something that I do have to point out, but I am going to point it out just to you really remark and emphasize on the fake laugh on how forced how awkward that seems how uncomfortable these two seem to be in the positions that they currently are in discussing the things that they're currently discussing when someone is genuinely laughing it's not going to be brief it's not going to sound as if it's coming from the back of their throat out of their chest forced and that is what we're seeing here and keith again is just facing us she's facing him as if she is just now also getting to know keith so she had known Keith for a very long time and I think that this is maybe not conscious but done on purpose to an extent. She's trying to make it seem as if oh, I'm also getting to know him. Done from there. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> People said I hope this time we're not like making out on camera or anything. <laughs> I don't think we'll be making out no. <laughs> You're blushing. <laughs> maybe. Probably. <laughs> no, no, there'll be no, uh, no hanky panky. <laughs> also asked if Keith has any children. Yes, I do. I have two children, a boy and a girl. They are grown up, very proud of them. They still live in Yorkshire, so I go up to see them as often as I can. 
the smile in Julia's hand position there, playing up everything. Interestingly, she's playing up this character. This, I believe, is to further emphasize to viewers or guide viewers to believe that these two are financially equals here. She's not with him specifically just for money. However, in most of her videos with most of her relationships, for the entirety of her YouTube career, she has done this thing where she would be very overly affectionate with whoever she is on camera with. They would come off as awkward Word. This isn't something they want to do. It really speaks to the fact that this is just a show. This is for shock value. This is for her channel. This isn't genuine, real. Now, I'm not part of their everyday life, but I I have to say, based on what we're seeing here, this seems very awkward, very forced, very staged. His awkward position here, how he's, he is not very comfortable even being part of this. And Julie is over the top, forcing laughter, and it is for shock value value for views. She's selling us Keith. I've met them and they are so sweet. I was like a bit worried because I never dated anyone who had kids before. I was a little bit scared, you know, that they weren't gonna like me, but I met them and they're both so lovely. They are super, super sweet. I love your children and your grandchildren. I have two grandchildren as well. Uh, from my daughter. I met them too. They're super cute. I was really excited because I have step-grandchildren now. <laughs> you never thought you'd say that, did you? <laughs> no, well, not so early in my life. <laughs> the way that Keith's lower mouth is tensed up again speaks to the fact that he does not really feel comfortable entirely doing this sort of thing. Now, when she calls his children and his grandchildren step-grandchildren, he says, never thought you would say this say that did you remarking not only on her age but also not not responding in a way that i would expect someone who is in love with someone else to respond which is maybe to say yes they are or to confirm that information now interestingly if this is her trying to make this seem like a new relationship which it has been the past two videos she has hinted at the fact that this is a new relationship i am dating a boomer again she titled one of her videos. Then for her to state that his children and grandchildren are her step-grandchildren seems to be very quick and something you probably would say if you were trying to make the same brand new. So that was a bit of a slip up there. I'm one of five children. I have three brothers and one sister, two older and two younger, so in the middle. So I got the worst of all worlds by having all the hand-me-downs as a child and, <laughs> and, they, and they, got, they got all the new things after me, so. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Not a wealthy family. Continues to be awkward and, and authentic as Julia laughs only after he laughs, just in response to him. She is paying very close attention to what he's saying, very focused on what he's saying and not on the camera, again, as if she's just waiting for him to say something in particular. The way he turns red and his lips are tense at the bottom especially, as if he wants to say something he can't quite say. Usually that's almost a blocking. You're, you want to say something, but you're, you're literally holding it in. It seems awkward though. This seems forced. Joel is too focused on what Keith has to say and not that she's on camera and she's, she has viewers. She's not addressing viewers. Just Keith. Again, being over the top flirtatious and affectionate towards this man while he is just sitting there facing us, talking to us. She has a performance. He's really just talking to us. Family at all. Reasonably poor, but happy and uh, good, solid upbringing. Very grounded, very down to earth person, me. Yeah, you are. I love that about you, that you're not like stuck up or anything. You're like very down to earth and humble and lovely. Respectful. Respectful, yeah, I like that. So, uh, some people asked, what do you do for work? I own a company, a tech company. I've been in the same industry all my life, from leaving school. I actually stayed on at school and did what was then O-levels and A-levels and got quite a few of those. But then I worked for a company in Yorkshire. I then moved to London with work. And then I started my own company about 15 years ago, which takes up a lot of my time. It's hard work, but it brings its rewards. You're very- I also want you to know, Julia Zog's blink rate is increased in so much of this. That is typically because it's not authenticity. This is not her focus on, we're just talking, we're getting to know Keith. It's not a comfortable situation. This is something you might do if you're very anxious. 
Now typically that could be anxiety because you're being deceptive, but that's not necessarily what I'm looking for here. I'm not looking for deception. I'm looking at how awkward and uncomfortable these two seem to be in this situation, which is what you're seeing here. And that high blink rate is an indicator of anxiousness. That coupled with her finger movements, which are a bit self-soothing, that fidgeting, she is very uncomfortable with this, which does bring the question, why would she do this in the first place? That is to sell us on her new boyfriend. She finally introduce us to your new boyfriend. She also knows, kind of behind the scenes, more behind the scenes, on places like the subreddit, people already know about this man. They've already speculated. And so this is perhaps her way of saying, finally, here he is. I don't have to hide this. I'm not going to be called out for this so much anymore. Now she's going to be called out for another thing and she's going to solve that. The thing being how fast she seems to be moving here. She's going to solve that by telling people they're being judgmental. They are the unfavorable one. These two are in love. Look how great Keith is. Very hard working. That's one of the things I said about you on the previous video and that he's really, really hard working like me. So obviously a lot of people have asked if you've met my ex and how you get on because you know I've told people that we're still friends and everything and they're curious about that because it was so public and everything. Yes, yes, uh, I've met Eileen several times, with uh, many times actually, yeah. mm. we've been out several times together, not me and her, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> we get on fine, there's, there's no problem. Um, think over time that will probably slow down as as things move on as they do but i'm sure I'm sure she'll remain a friend. A few things happened there. First, Julia's hand moves to a more comforting position on Keith's shoulder. Keith's blink rate speeds up. I don't believe he's actually comfortable discussing Eileen, but again, this is for Julia's YouTube channel. This is for views, engagement. This is a performance. So he's telling us, but pay attention to her words, her specific wording. I've told them that Eileen and I are friends, not they know we're friends, we are friends, since we're friends, or any of those indications that Julie and Eileen really are friendly. Now we know from previous videos they really aren't. I'm not entirely sure why she continues to tell us that they are. Perhaps to maybe reintroduce her later. Perhaps to pretend that she's not bitter towards that situation. None of what I say is a guarantee of anything. That is speculation. Just based off what we're seeing here though. In her specific statement, I have told them not we are friends. I have told them we're friends. And that is a bit deceptive there. And I'm sure she'll remain your friend as well. So a few people have asked what your sexuality is and gender identity and all that stuff. I would sort of say I'm mainly straight, but there's a touch of bisexual in there. I'm a very open-minded person. I understand and respect everyone. Uh, <laughs> and you're cisgender. What? <laughs> cisgender is when you're not trans. Oh. Okay. She does shock Keith a bit there and you could tell with his eyebrows going up that he genuinely was surprised by her label she just spat out but Keith is not telling us I am bisexual. Now I am not talking about this to label either of these people to make judgments on any of anything they identify as or say they are or label themselves as based on what I am seeing and what I am hearing though. Their statements in particular and how their blink rate has increased which is an indication of nervousness. He's very uncomfortable here how he states, I have a bit of, I am mostly, he's not taking direct ownership of anything he's identified as. And it's really not pleasant that he is having to give us these labels directly online the first time we're seeing him. But he does say he's mostly these things. And then he says, I am open-minded. This, this is to tell viewers, I don't judge you for what you are. But it also says, but I'm not really, I don't consider myself those things. I mostly those things. He understands and accepts and is comfortable around others who are, they do identify as other things. I'm not passing judgment on anyone myself, but just that Keith does not take direct ownership of this label that Julia is pinning on him or perhaps wants to pin on him. And it seems Keith himself doesn't know or isn't confident in what he would label himself. And so it seems odd and in my opinion, disrespectful to have this sort of thing in there to discuss labels. So I'm aware that most of her audience does want to know what she would label herself, knowing that that has since changed and she went from considering herself strictly lesbian to now dating a man. I don't believe it's still as important to keep anything he might label himself as in here. But again, this is a performance. 
It's for shock value, for engagement, for her channel. This is just a performance. So I will end here. This has been mostly commentary, but a lot of their body language here has been uncomfortable. The way that she is positioned versus how he is positioned, the way her hand moves, how nervous he seems. And hopefully this has helped a bit, but I just thought that I would hop on here today and kind of go over their body language in this video, how authentic this is and what maybe going on here. So if you've watched this far, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. Please hit the like button down below. Subscribe. Thank you for watching.